Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Gordon, uh, welcome to OKC. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. What's it? Uh, what's it been like for you here so far? And uh, your teammates uh, before the break were just talking about getting the chance to connect with you and, and having a good time getting to know you. Yeah, it's um, it's been a whirlwind of an experience. Uh, I've never been traded midseason, so I was joking around saying I felt like a new kid at school at a different school uh, this morning at practice. But it's been good. Everyone's been really welcoming. Um, from the top to the bottom of the organization. So um, ready to get going here. Mark has talked about kind of wanting to measure twice and cut once when it comes to integrating you into the team. What have you learned about just kind of style of play and, and how you might um, kind of fit into what's already being done here? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we're rolling. They were rolling way before, long before I got here. Um, so I'm not trying to disrupt that. I'm trying to add to it and just help us in any way that I can. Um, certainly the style of play, you know, ball moves, the players move, um, you know, you're reading before the catch and making the right plays and that fits right up my alley, what I want to do. So, um, just focused on trying to do that, trying to help the team. You had mentioned that this team had been rolling long before you got here. What had just been your perception of what this group has been able to do over the course of this year so far? Yeah. Incredible, uh, for how young, um, you know, most of the guys are and, um, uh, you know, just the, I think the, the poise that they showed, um, for such young players is unique. Um, you know, obviously have some some guys like uh, Shea and J Dub who are uh, able to take over a game by themselves, and that definitely helps. But um, everybody everybody seems to do their job. I think that was another thing is that everyone does their job. They 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 play to their strengths, and um, you know it's a team first thing. So I think that's uh, what what was impressive to me. Was it before you step in a team that's in a playoff race? I'm sorry, one more time. In fact, you step into a team that's in a playoff race. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you know, that's why it's, it's uh, I just want to do what I can to help us and then help us continue to win and um, provide some stuff. So when we get into the playoffs, we'll be a little more successful. What Mark said, you know, you're not here to be a chaperone. They want you to be a player, not like an old guy. Yeah. Guys, these guys. But are, are there some intangible things you think you can bring to a younger team from that standpoint? Yeah, I mean, just experience. I think, you know, that that's something you just have to learn. And, and this is my 14th year in the league. So just having that experience is something that hopefully I can help with. Gordon, are you ready to play? Yeah, I uh, went through practice today. You know, it's been probably seven weeks since I've played, so I think that goes along with what Coach Mark said about kind of merging me in. Um, but I've, I've had the nice thing about kind of when I got traded was I've had another week and a half because of the break, the long break, to continue to get work in and, and work out. I was here for most of the break, and so that that's, that's good from that standpoint. Do you expect to play tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to go through, and if, if they – play me, then I'll, then I'll be ready to go. You've obviously been in the league a while. What have you sort of kind of heard about the Thunder, the organization, and how has that sort of matched up in just the few days that you've been here? Yeah, just first class organization. That's everything that you hear uh, from the top to the bottom. They do things the right way, and that aligns exactly with how I've been treated and how what I've experienced so far. When you were here two weeks ago with the Hornets, did you think this was a possibility at all? Um, yeah, there was, I have, there was talks about it. Um, you know, I tend to let all that stuff have my agent deal with all that stuff. I try to just focus on what I'm doing out on the court. Um, but certainly my agent had made me aware that it was a possibility. You trade teams before. What, what's the biggest thing when you come to a new team? Is it learning the system or getting your sea legs because you haven't played in a real game for a while? I, I, I mean, both those things. Those are two different, um, you know, two different challenges to be met. I think, uh, one, you got new terminology, new new players that you're trying to adjust to play with play with them, and new coaches, and kind of a new system. But uh, for me personally, just after being injured, you're trying to find your rhythm and find your legs. And there's nothing, you know, you can work out all you want, but there's nothing like getting out there and playing. So, you have a vision for what your role will be with the team? Yeah, just help us win. What was the day of the trade like? Like, what were the your emotions that day? Um, so I, I kind of knew something was going to happen before officially getting traded and um, just talking with my agent a lot, talking with my family. You know, I have my four kids and wife that are, you know, back home in Charlotte. And um, so trying to figure out how they can come see me was, was a kind of a big piece of it. And the travel part, um, you know, my kids are still in school. So uh, being able to see them, but still, you know, do my job and kind of trying to balance that and schedule that out. So are they going to stay in Charlotte 
your family? They'll be they'll be back and forth. I mean, my kids are in school, so it's too late to take them out of school, and uh, we'll do some you know remote learning and stuff. But for the most part, they'll they'll still be doing school, and when we have home stands, they'll come out and be with me here and watch and cheer on. My kids are super excited about it. Um, you know, they, we got the organization got me little Thunder jerseys, and so they 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 haven't been to games like I said in seven weeks, and so they love going to the games mostly to watch like the dancers and stuff, not really to watch the game. <laughs> but, um, you know, they're, they're definitely excited about going. You've always been a guy that's played 30 plus minutes a game. I, I don't know what your roles are going to look like here, but if it is less than that, maybe 20 minutes one night, 18 another, like how do you think you'll adjust to, to a different role? I just, like I said, I think just being focused on trying to do what I can to help us win, no matter how, how long that is out there on the court. I think that if you're focused on that, everything else takes care of itself. Did you, before you actually play games, do you, do you talk to guys about just where you want to catch the ball and just like preferences and things that they like? Are you guys having those conversations? Um, no, I haven't talked to anybody about that type of stuff yet. Mostly talk to them about defense. How, what are we doing defensively? What, what am I supposed to do defensively? Every team's got kind of differences and philosophies and, you know, switching and, and how they guard things. So it's been, that's what my focus is. I mean, I think if I focus on the defensive part first, the, I mean, the offense will come. What are your thoughts on the defense and like how you fit in? Yeah, I mean, I'm a versatile defender. Um, so being able to guard multiple multiple players from multiple positions is something that I feel like I can help with. So, um, you know, try not to let the other team score. Going back to the pre-draft process or the years in between, have you had any relationship with Sam? Uh, yeah, we talked about my, my pre-draft workout when I first got here. It was at a different facility and it feels like forever ago, but... Um, you know, certainly I've kept in touch with him over the years, just as far as we play the Thunder and say hello and things like that. So um, excited to finally get the chance to be here. Anything stand out from that workout? Uh, no, man, that, we, I had like 14 or 15 draft workouts and that was that was too long ago. So it's hard to say. <laughs> and uh, just one more. I know you can't, couldn't wear number 20 here. You've worn it your whole career. Why 33? Um, yeah, there wasn't that many numbers to choose from. Westside. Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Had to get it with my guys. Never stop. Woo, woo. Mr. Go and split the pie. Never stop. Woo.